Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I am here with Reinhard Otten. He is the strategist for sustainable product development for Audi. We've heard about synthetic fuels. We've talked to companies that say it's possible. Audi is actually making synthetic fuels. How do you do it? Yes, we make use of uh, excess electric energy from the grid. Yes. We convert it to hydrogen and then we put the hydrogen together with CO2. This is a very important step for the energy turnaround to store renewable power from the grid. So how much are you making right now? At the moment uh, we produce about 1000 tons of methane every year in this power to gas plant. And that's from power to gas me is incorporating the CO2 exactly. from the, from the mm -hmm. air mm -hmm. eventually. Yes, and we absorb in the same time uh, 2,800 tons of CO2. So what I understand it to, to happen is you take the CO2 from the air, you mm -hmm. make gasoline, in, synthetic fuel gasoline into it, you put that into a car and you can run on it exactly the same way you would regular gasoline. Yes, it's a drop-in fuel and uh, you drive this car as every other car. We have uh, just methane and it's uh, the same quality you have in the natural gas grid. Because synthetic fuel is more expensive to make, maybe to make this synthetic fuel, combine it with the conventional fuel, charge a little bit more, but in the end you have less uh, emissions. Of course, that could be a way. Well, the effect for the environment is the same if you give 100% uh, synthetic fuel to someone or if you mix it and uh, give 10% uh, synthetic fuel to 10 persons. So the result for the environment is the same, um, but it's maybe more affordable for the single person. Of course, it's a good idea. It's not from biogas. You're producing it from CO2 from the air. Yes, we do. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, by means of green power, Yes. Uh, excess power that we will have more and more in the future, the more wind energy and solar energy we use because uh, the wind is there like now. Like now. <laughs> if you don't want it. Uh, and when you don't need the energy, but it's sometimes not there when you need it. Yes. So you, you will have the need to balance in the future uh, the offer of green energy and uh, the demand of energy. And uh, the same happens with solar, of course. It's an exciting proposition. Reinhardt, thank you very much. You're very welcome.